tributes continue to pour in from fans, friends and family in Colin Mead's King Country hometown. People have been visiting the statue of him and unveiled in the main street of Takawiti and local schools paid their respects. Our reporter Eva Corlett is there. Powerful hairera to a local hero from Tikuitsi Primary School. The Kapahaka group performed to the giant bronze statue of Tikuitsi's favourite son, which has become the central point for locals to pay their respects. And Sir Colin's legendary status doesn't just hold with older generations. After the performance, a number of the students crowded around to describe in a few words what they thought was the best thing about Sir Colin. He's a rugby legend. He's hearty. Uh, he's the best captain ever. He's the man. He's awesome. He's one of the people that has um, been pretty much the best. His ruthfulness and his helpfulness. He's prayed for us. What does he mean to this community? Is he a bit of an inspiration? He's yeah. a huge yes. part of my compu yeah, like our community. Model. He's like a role model to this um, community and King Country. Net. The pupils took the opportunity to offer a few words of thanks and support. I just want to say thanks to Colin for all of his inspiration he's did for Wairati and the community of rugby. So I want to thank him. And I'd like to say a big sorry to Colin's family and, and you'll get through this somehow. Stay strong. Kia ka. <laughs> Up the road at Pukanui Primary School, a special assembly was held to mark Sir Colin's passing. The children lowered their flag to half-mast and belted out their school song, a local adaptation of a well-known tune to honour their local heroes. One pupil, Dougie, says Sir Colin inspires him. Massive, like, because he's a player of the century and that, how he used to, like, run over everyone and <laughs> score heaps of tries and how he played that game with our broken arm. The school's principal, Raywin Jackson, says Sir Colin was a big man with a big heart. He just acknowledged everyone. It didn't matter who you were. He you know, would acknowledge you, um, even our children. They would see him and he would sort of know who they were and have a chat to them just about what they were doing and things like that. So he was interested in people, even if they weren't rugby players and things like that. Back at the statue, which was unveiled just eight weeks ago, people have laid bunches of flowers and a rugby ball inscribed with a farewell note to Sir Colin. A kahuhuruhuru, or feathered cloak, has also been draped over his shoulders. One of its kaitiaki is kahutoi te kanawa. Ms te kanawa says another local legend, her master weaver grandmother Dame Rangi Maria Hetet, wove the cloak. It takes at least nine months to make one cloak. It's covered in uh, pheasant feathers and the pheasant itself has over 17 varieties of uh, feathers on it. So I think it's befitting of a, of a farmer who probably did a lot of hunting. <laughs> Ms Dekanewa says the cloak's nickname is The Traveller because it has a history of honouring people across the region. Whenever someone passes, and a lot of the cousins know, if they haven't got a cloak, a farm, family cloak of their own, they oh, we are... Um, let them use ours and that's to, to honour the person but also to make sure that the love, the cloak of aroha is spread uh, amongst uh, the whānau at, at such a sad occasion. Mr Kanawa says Sir Colin likely kept generations of mostly boys out of trouble through inspiring them to follow rugby. Sir Colin's funeral will be held next Monday at Tikuiti's Les Munro Centre. Itikuiti mo te hōtaka o ko Eva Corlett tēnei.